Welcome friends, it's Bob and Fran, your healthy aging authors and mentors. It's amazing how so many people tell us, you have a great day. It's easy to say, but it often does not turn out so great. However, we want to share six little things that you can do to ensure that you will have a great day. And we saved our favorite for last, so stay with us. And let's get into it right now. This is the first thing we do every morning. We express gratitudes. Years ago, we discovered a wonderful method for starting the day on a very positive note. When we wake up from our night's sleep, we lay in bed for a few minutes, recounting all the things for which we are grateful. We mentally list them without rushing, giving feeling to each one expressed. Some can be repeated every morning. New ones can be added any time. This is our way of counting our blessings. It can set the tone for realizing that this new day is a true gift. The second thing is to use what we call compliment power. One of the most gratifying and spirit-raising techniques that we utilize daily is to pay a compliment to at least three different people. Yes, we make it a practice to say something nice or to congratulate a fellow human being just to make them feel good. Yeah. It's wonderful to see a smile come to their faces, <clears throat> whether they're friends or strangers. It's easy and fun and seems to spread exponentially. Paying compliments benefits you as well as the person receiving it. It's an amazing little happiness tip. Why not give it a try? Third is to have a worry-free day. And we advise you to make this your intention, your intention not to worry. Worry is one of those habitual emotions that can immobilize you. It's being trapped somewhere in the future. Worrying about something that hasn't happened yet is a matter of not being in the present moment, but being in a future moment. We view worrying as the mind rehearsing the very things that you don't want to happen. This is non-productive behavior, really a waste of time and energy, and certainly can cause stress. And it can ruin your day. So what's the fix for worry? First, you need to be aware when worry arises. Second, when you catch yourself thinking about something that may or may not occur, gently refocus your attention to what's happening now. And we're betting that 80 to 90% of what we worry about never comes about. So just be here. The fourth thing to do is to engage invisible people. You can make someone's day and enrich your own by doing small but meaningful acts of kindness for people that you encounter who seem to be invisible to most. A smile and a friendly hello to food servers, store clerks, grocery baggers, delivery men or women, and other usually unnoticed fellow humans can make a big impact on them and on you. Humanizing telephone customer service or support representatives by asking how their day is going or complimenting them will be a welcome change for the, from their daily barrage of complaints and criticism. Acknowledging and speaking with office cleaners, receptionists, repair people, and er other everyday invisible folks makes them feel good. And it'll make you feel good too. Make this an everyday habit. The next way to have a great day is to bring peace to every moment. How can we make our planet a kinder, happier, and more peaceful place. It all starts with each of us. To make the difference we want to see as individuals, 
we need to convey a sense of harmony and calm to every social interaction, situation, and experience. It is not always easy, but it is possible. This means avoiding confrontation, staving off arguments, communicating calmly, and acting to reconcile differences with people of differing views and temperaments. A wise person once said that only when a mosquito lands on your private parts, hmm, that you realize there is always a way to solve a problem without aggression, force, or hostility. Bringing peace to every moment is the answer. It's doing our job to make the world better and so we all can enjoy the day. And finally, we recommend that you review the magic. Every night before you go to bed, either talk about or write down all the magical things that happened that day. Yeah. Now, at first, you may not feel that there was any magic in your day. But when you start to really think about it, you will see that there were many miraculous and touching moments. The magic can be a bird at your feeder, a rainbow after a downpour, a call from an old friend, a handwritten letter in the mail, a nice word from a coworker, a pleasant greeting from a stranger, a compliment on your appearance, a delightful dinner, or just feeling really good all day. Let's now take our days for granted. Take a few minutes to recognize and appreciate all the wondrous things, big and small, that we encounter daily. It will make you happy and you'll sleep better too. So please let us know your take on these ideas that we utilize and add some of your own in the comment section below. Also, please help us grow our channel by encouraging others to subscribe and watch our videos. Thank you all so much. And we look forward to seeing you again very soon. And, and make, make it a, a great day. day.